What's going on guys, Crater here back with a new video and this is my review of the LT06 Takagami Lyo from Tokumei Sentai Go Busters. LT06 is a Buster vehicle piloted by Himaru or Jin. Unlike the other Buster vehicles that need a buddy roid for more functionality, it was simply designed to integrate both systems, dubbing it as the Buddy Zord. It can transform into a variety of forms, each with its own function. LT06 is also a tactical support unit for Go Buster Ace. Either act as a personal vehicle for Ace or as a replacer of Ace for any combination requires it. The Buster Vehicle LT06 is a three wheel motorcycle themed Buster Vehicle that can serve as the quick transport into battle for Go Buster Ace, Go Buster O, or Buster Hercules. The Buster Animal LT06 is a lion themed Buster Animal mode which is able to shoot fireballs from its mouth. Like its vehicle mode, LT06 can serve as the mount to either Ace or B. The LT06 Takagami Lion-O is LT06 Megazord mode. It can serve as the core for the other larger combinations. It wields the Lion Sir gun in a spear-like mode, while its animal mode head becomes the Takagami shield that can fire a supercharged energy beam from its lion's mouth. Its finishing attack is Lion-O Impact. Takagami Lion-O also provides updates on the other bus machines to improve them while in battle. Some interesting trivia is that although LT-06 has primarily been piloted by Red Buster, being an auxiliary Buster vehicle like FS-0-0, it is not simply attached to a Go Buster, as there is no Lion Theme 6 Go Buster despite what the Buster vehicle destination would suggest. Also, Sheena Nick fully understands his thoughts, possibly to fully utilize his conjunction with LT-06 AI. Now before we take a look at the Zord itself, let's look at the giant box that we have right here consisting of the Takagami Lion-O. This is the Korean version obviously. There's actually no difference between the Japanese and Korean version. It's just that the Korean version for some reason is cheaper. I don't see the reason why because I looked at other pictures like all the paint apps are there, like all the die cast is there. I don't actually see the difference, just I guess it's cheaper and just in Korea so that's why I got it for him. I got this for like around $70. For him, so I don't know how much it costs the Japanese. I know the Japanese version was much more. So I was got 120, 130, for seventy dollars for what a 12, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. for a six-year-old figure or a Zord. That's actually a pretty, pretty sweet deal. I must say so right there. The Power Rangers Go Busters, because in Korea it was actually called either Spy Force or Go Busters. I'm pretty sure it was called Go Busters. Yep, Power Rangers Go Busters. Look at it right there. Uh, Power Rangers Go Busters. Zoom in. Go and see that load. Bring it down a bit. Power Rangers Go Busters. There you go. See him out. Lionel right there with his Lion Megazord and his two other forms of Lion Zord in the motorcycle mode. On the side, you see Takami Lion with Go Buster Ace. And the whole thing is um, Go Buster Ace cast combines him into multiple things. Like, see, he can ride his bike and also he can. Um, ride him on his animal mode as well. That came out completely wrong when I just said that. I'll be showing that in a separate video. Um, this video is mainly just about the Zord itself and his transformation. And in a separate video, I'll be showcasing what he can do when he can buy with the other Go Buster vehicles. So, what we'll be covering today is all three of these number one, number two, and number three. These three the Megazord mode, the animal mode, well, the motorcycle mode, animal mode and Megazord mode, I should say. We'll be covering this along with these two Zords right here in a different video. The reason why is, well, because as of this video, I still do not have Stag Buster um, Zord yet, and I'm just waiting for him. Once I have Stag Buster, I can do a lot of stuff. Uh, Lions right there, so you get showing all of it. You can find the Go Buster King. I don't know why I'm thinking about just do that. Go Buster King. That's our main goal and all that is Go Buster King. Otherwise, very neat box on the top has a nice silhouette of the Lion O Zord, which is very neat. I do say that myself. And on the bottom, pretty much shows the exact same stuff. But like it, Japan or Korea in this case, Bandai of Asia, I guess I should say, in general, always come out with very cool boxes. Wish America could come out with stuff like that. And that is the box of the Lion-O. Let's actually take a look at the Zord itself, starting with his vehicle mode. 
And here is Takagami Lyo in his vehicle mode. As you can see, his vehicle is based on an actual motorcycle. It actually looks pretty, pretty cool, I must say so myself. Look at the front piece right here. You see Lionel's face right here with his two glasses. You his glasses also used as two other things that we'll go over eventually. And for some reason, this thing is not in there all the way. There you go. It sometimes come off like they gotta make sure that his peg is really in there. It comes off on the peg, so yeah. The wheel right here, which actually does a lot more, which we'll get into. It's good. It's a very cool light design on um, the blue that goes with it. It's a dark blue. I would have figured that they wouldn't use any color in the series that the Ranger already uses because we already have a blue Ranger, but it's a dark, like, uh, what's the purplish blue, I guess? Maybe ish. Not the light blue that Go Buster. Um, blue uses so I guess that was one way around in the line. It's, 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 it's just an interesting color scheme because lions aren't typically blue. They usually depict them at least for the Red Ranger is red so the fact that the Red Ranger uses him in the show as a blue vehicle I thought that was pretty interesting. Again it really they really did a lot of detail so they even have this you know these those two things really don't do much. They're just nice detail to add vehicle for them. This is also mainly because as I said before which we'll get to another video uh, Red Bus Zor, Go Buster Ace actually rides. Can actually um, connect with the Lino vehicle. So there's that and just detail all around. Really like this side thing. And the one thing is this figure is actually very, very big. If I put him next to Go Buster Ace, you'll see he's actually bigger than him, bigger than all the Zords that are not combined. So that is really something which explains the price tag for just a single Zord uh, because it's just. He is massive. <laughs> he's not like as big as a carrier resort because he's actually can't even. He doesn't even know this is considered a Tetrary resort from in a, in, in a Super Sentai series. He actually is not the carrier resort. Usually, the third resort of the series that are not the Rangers is usually a carrier type resort, but this is actually the exact opposite. He can literally do his own thing. So much so that the Red Buster Ranger actually controls him to do that. Um, motorcycle mode can't really do much, pretty much just a stationary thing. I mean, yes, you can roll them around, but on my desk right now, it's not very big, but you can do that. Not really much to a detail right here. You can actually cut it on, though. If you cut it on, you see that red light right there. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, why you got that? Oh, there you go. You I mean, for some reason, he <laughs> It's interesting noise when you roll him around. Noise. So again, he's worth the price because he actually has sound with function. See that? Roll it again. It moves accordingly to the sound. I don't know why it's still... Turn it. it sounds like he's driving, which is actually pretty neat. The LED light right there. And one more time. I wonder if I go the other way. It makes the same sound on the from the other side. So, there's that. Let me just cut that off for a second because that's pretty annoying. If you guys didn't hear when it first got cut on, this is sound. There you go. And then it does all that. So that. That's the sound when he is in his vehicle mode. The cool thing about this wheel is that it actually knows what form it's in, so it'll make the sounds accordingly, which is actually pretty cool. I'm going to show that right now when we transform this vehicle mode into his animal mode. Now to transform him from his vehicle mode to his animal mode, there's a simple thing that you have to do. Oh, first things first, you have to take off the wheel of this Zord right here. Take off the head. This will come into play in a second. Now, in terms of the legs, this can stay right here. You flip, now, I wanna make, I wanna be clear or something. You have to make sure these two, see that blue piece right here? If I'll zoom in on that. See this blue piece right there? You have to make sure that's always facing down. Otherwise, the connector, uh -oh, this thing right here won't come together. And that piece fell off, but I will get to that in a second. 
that can stay in place right here. You're gonna move these fangs up, which are, hey, well, you know, these are legs. What are the odds? This is a leg, and wow, this is also a leg. Move these two pieces down, as such. They make it easier for you. you can already set up these legs as well. You just pull them down. You can also pull the other one down as well. I, I literally hit my camera with this. How big this thing is. Ooh, you don't want to see those. Not yet. Pull that down. Looks like I'm going to have to bring it out a little bit. I didn't realize that. And adjust because this is going to be. And this is going to be big. A little bit. That's what she said. You are now going to use this piece, bring it around, and connect. So it can actually stay in place. Same thing on this side, bring it around, and connect that piece right here. Connect. And there's that, that's pretty much done. Everything else is done. Now for these pieces right here, this will be used in a second. You can now open this thing up right here. I can open it. Makes like a, a I don't know what this is actually called for a lion, but I I know what it is, but I just don't know what it's called. And you just put this together. You gotta find a sweet spot. I wish I could know where it is. There you go. Now that's his head. I would turn on the device if I was you. There you go. Attach this right here. Actually, we'll put that on black. What we will do instead is go over here with this piece. Now, this piece came off. You're wondering where to put it? Put it right here. All right. Now for the tail. May I do it like this personally? It looks like it's an actual, you know, tail. So what I would do? Go back here. If you can. See, I'll zoom in right here. See that right here? These are pegs. We can actually slide this right in there and it should put it right. Whoops. It's gonna be a difficult task, but if you do it right, you can just slide this right here. What I would personally do is make sure they're both in place. And you just connect it back together. There you go. See that? Boom. It's connected back together. So now, there's the tail. See how it's looking more and more like a lion? Jesus Christ. Hey, wow. Every day just gave off. This is what happens when you have a small table. There you go. Now, the last thing you have to do, put the head. I'm just gonna keep this thing like that for a second. There you go. Voila. Whew. And this is the Takagashi Lion-O in his animal form. Ha, ah, that was a chore. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, he's pretty neat, I guess. I mean, you can, do a lot more with him. I should probably, yeah. Okay, this is the spot to put him here. Perfect. All right. Lion O and his lion um, form, his animal form. Cool thing is, you can bring this thing down. Oh, yeah, Moka, Ka, Ka. I love it. I guess so. That's the only sound he makes, I'm assuming. Uh, I don't know if it's because it's the Korean version or whatnot, but that's the only sound he makes. Right, again. All right. It's the only sound he makes, apparently. But yeah, this is his animal form. He's, I mean, pretty neat. Again, the purpose of it is so GoBuster can go on top of him and you can have his like animal mode with GoBuster Ace, his um, Red Ranger's Megazord. For some reason, this leg always gives me a hard time this side. I can never really hold him. This is always popping off. Don't know why. It's like they're just really fighting me on that one. This one always gives me problems. Maybe I don't know if it's just because it's my Zorb, but that one's always gives me problems. But otherwise, it should just stand 
just like that and everything should be fine. The animal form is nothing really cool about it. Uh, my personal opinion, the real things are the motorcycles and the Megazord mode, which is just what we're about to go into right now. Now to get to his Megazord mode, again, we're going to detach the head. We're going to detach this again, because this is not needed. Now, you can actually leave it just like this. I'll tell you why in a second. Well, I guess you start from the back then. You can move the legs right on up. And you can pull, hold on. I don't know why this always keep falling off. And now, pull this up, and well, you know, it's another pair of legs. And turn it up, boom. He is now currently standing. I already know I'm gonna have to Bit. Sorry guys. Sorry about that guys. Had that little cut for a second. I know it's gonna be a pretty big Zord. You are now going to turn this this way. And you're gonna hear a snap. If you notice a snap, that means it's in place. There you go. It's a tiny snap that stays exactly where it is. So don't worry about that because this is not usable until much later in our next video. Make sure these things are up. And it's already halfway done because I didn't do it just because this thing got falling apart. You can actually close that and pull his hands down. First thing you want to do, pull the hands down. Put this line arm back. And then you'll see an arm can come out. It is coming out right there. Boom. See that arm? All right. Same thing with this side. Make sure that snaps in place. Make sure that's also in place. Turn this around. Boom. Another arm. This for some reason won't come down. Make sure again. Make sure that. Make sure that's in place. And there's that part. Then all you're gonna have to do. Put this into a straight spear. Make sure it's in place just like that. And this is used more as a shield now. And voila, I present to you the LT the LT06 Tagami Lion in his Megazord mode. I mean, he is pretty much a badass in his Megazord mode. He looks very, very cool. I mean, he has his shield-like lion shield right there. He has a spear as well, which is kind of unique. Usually they always have swords, so I like the fact that it's something different and unique. I'm almost as a spear-like thing, and it falls off completely. The issue, the only issue I have is that this really doesn't hold in place very well. You have to like just hope to God it stays put it in there that's what she said see it doesn't it doesn't really so what I like to do is just put on the other side to say screw it and there you go it holds perfectly in place if you just switch it up which I think you're supposed to do anyway I'm just an idiot but yeah this is spear mode uh movement you know ratchet because of the transformation you can actually get a lot of arm movement with his arm because again you can just detest that yeah, it's solely because of transformation region. so you can have a bunch of actually unique poses with this guy I personally enjoy. Uh, in terms of the sound, because the lion had to spin it. Go! You get that? It's time for boss I believe those are the only two sounds you're gonna get out of this. But like I said, in terms of arm movement, you can get a lot out of it. Due to the fact that because of transformation reason, you can get a lot out of it. You can really put it high if you want to do like a very cool attack with him. So he's very poseable in terms of his arm. Obviously, the legs aren't going nowhere. That's why I'm not even showing it. The legs are not going anywhere at all. 
But yeah, LOIs, I think he's actually pretty neat. Um, I like the design of it. The whole line thing is pretty, pretty neat in my opinion. Um, yeah, overall, he's just an interesting looking figure. I'll just give a full scale right here so you see exactly how he looks. Move back a bit. And yeah, he is actually pretty tall. I will compare him with my other Zords when you, um, when we, when we do our another video, when we do our next video, I should say, when we combine with the rest of the Zords. But right by himself, he's actually pretty, pretty good. And would I recommend him? I would definitely recommend him. He is an awesome Megazord to have if you're a fan of Goldbusters. You definitely need him in your collection. He, out of all the Megazords, he's the most expensive one. Again, I bought him for $70 from eBay um, for a good deal. It's just the Korean version, but again, the Korean version works with the Japanese toys. I actually have um, blue and yellow Buster as the Japanese version, red as the Korean version. They work perfectly fine together, so there's actually no difference. So you have to fear about that. You have to buy either an all-set Korean version or all-set of Japanese version. It doesn't matter because they work just the same. I would like to um, combine with the other mode, but as of right now, I don't have Stag Buster with me, so this will just have to do. So I do apologize for that, guys. But in my next video, we will be combi um, combining all of the Zords and what he can do in terms of the rest of the GoBuster Megazord line. Thank you guys for watching my review. I would definitely recommend him. He's overall a good piece. The only thing I hate is that this sword, his spear doesn't really hold well, in my personal opinion. If you like today's video, make sure that like button, comment down below, subscribe and stay on to my channel. My next video, as I said, will be me combining all of them together with the rest of the GoBuster vehicles with this lion guy. So you thank you guys for watching. As always, this is Crater, signing off. Catch you guys later. See ya.